write a note on the central ideas of Kamala Das's poems, My Grandmother's House, and A Hot Noon at Malabar. Marx, 10-12. Answer. An exponent of confessional poetry, Kamala Das is essentially one of those modern Indian English poetesses who often tend to give expression to their suppressed emotions. There is deeply felt in her poetry a hopeless longing to relive the halcyon days of her childhood. Pangs of nostalgia for her childhood and alienation in her married life are in fact the prime concern in her poetry. Raised in the warmth of the close Kerala matrilineal society, Das felt terribly alienated when her father moved to Calcutta. Her early marriage and the life of drudgery at her husband's home combined with his callous, uncaring attitude towards her shocked her, making her subsequently angry, confused and rebellious. She idealizes her childhood in my grandmother's house where she received a plethora of love and affection. You cannot believe, darling. Can you, that I lived in such a house and was proud, and loved? The poignancy of the poem is heightened as her present morbid married life is subtly juxtaposed with her carefree girlhood. It conveys the acute sense of rootlessness and alienation that Das experiences when uprooted from her grandmother's home. A desperate need to satisfy her lovelorn state makes her almost cringe before strangers, seeking love. I who have lost my way and beg now at strangers' doors to receive love, at least in small charge. But, to her utter chagrin, all she receives is callousness, which makes her dejected. Now a heartbroken woman, Das is sad, devastated and lonely, hopelessly longing to relive the warm, rich and happy past. Even as she speaks in a nonchalant, uncaring tone about her various acts of physical relationships, one cannot ignore the sad and poignant cry for a fuller and more serene kind of love, lost in time. One certainly does not miss the heart-rending voice that speaks of lost values from a lost world, one which had once been so dear to Das. In a hot noon at Malabar, Das takes us once more to the warmth and charm of her grandmother's house. The poem captures a mood of warm lassitude in the poet. There seems to be a sense of quiet indolence, of reflection and a deep longing to relive a world, lost in time. As Das recalls the people one by one, the lethargic afternoon comes to life, filling Das with fancies of every timbre and hue. The afternoon becomes a collage of vibrant childhood fantasies. At the same time, it projects her agonizing married life by contrast. The heady romance for Kamala Das of the colorful and wild group of people from the hills is fascinating. The romance associated with the hills is a contrast brought out in the last lines. Wild feet stirring up the dust, this hot noon, at my home in Malabar, and I so far away. Here Das rues the fact that she is so far removed from the fairyland of her childhood. The structure and rhythm of the poem is in keeping with its mode. The prolonged narrative stance, punctuated with a leisurely rhythm creates an indolent mood of fanciful imagination. It is an apt vein to relive the happy memories of Malabar. It is also the right frame to embrace a need to unfurl inner urges dormant in the mind of the poet. The concluding lines without a full stop, wild feet stirring up the dust, this hot noon, at my home in Malabar, and I so far away, suggests the happy possibilities that await Das at Malabar, but which are all denied in her married life away from home. Thus, both the poems discussed above bear the poet's pangs of nostalgia for her happy girlhood, a time the poet hopelessly longs to relive. Finished. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and comment.